And I also want to address uh, the individual, Mr. Art Wilson, who had a comment about me. Let's clear something up real clear. I can care less if you feel like I can be a politician or, or, or so forth. But what I need you to quit doing is coming up here lying about me and you working together in the past and things like that. The only thing me and you did was a water drive in the past. And when I seen how you move and how you lie and how you disrupt people's camps and things like that, I blocked you on my phone as well as on Facebook and we have no communication, sir. And when you keep coming up here talking about we changing pipes and things like that, let's get this corrected. Me and my organization and some other nonprofits were the first ones in the city of Flint to change pipes at some homes that I own. You had nothing to do with that, but actually you and another individual who loved to come up to council meetings and disrupt it came and tried to disrupt that and that's all on M Live and it's all documented. So please stop with the lies, sir, because you don't make a good activist, a politician or anything else. You're just a good liar. And the city deserves better than that, sir. And it's not personal. Oh, it's just pers it's, it's just giving you oh, the you truth. Oh, I'm gonna give you the truth Thank in you. a minute. I'm Thank gonna, you. I'm gonna give you the truth in a minute. Mr. Woodson. Yes, yes, you're right. I get another turn. <laughs> oh, it's on. Mr. Woodson. I ain't say nothing. I'm talking myself. Okay. It's on. All right. You took it. I'm not gonna say it again. You took it Anyone else? All right. I got you. Go ahead. No, nah, it ain't the truth. It ain't the truth, bro. Wait until I tell the truth. Gentlemen, point of order. gentlemen. Wait until I tell the truth. <laughs> Art. Yes. This is your first warning. Wow. What? Man, he's sitting up here going back and forth, too. Point of yeah, order. Yes, Get out of here. Madam Chair. Go ahead, Ms. Burns. Yeah, hold on. I, first of all, I think that they have all stopped. And we had, and we're going by Council Rules 27.2 or 3, that we should not be argumentative. The council in the first word was argumentative. And I was waiting for him to stop addressing Mr. Woodson. So I would probably say at this time, let's just let it go so I can get my two minutes. Go ahead with your two minutes. Thank you. Order. Point of order. What's your point? Are you withdrawing the warning? No, I'm not. I, I appeal the ruling. I say there's. Okay, there's an appeal to the ruling of the chair under the, because Mr. Woodson continued to dis talk over over the um, over people as and I had I had asked him to stop very politely and he chose to continue. I give a given him his first warning. Go ahead, Mr. Pfeiffer. So. Uh, the councilman in the first word was going back and forth with him after his time expired. So it's unfair that Mr. Woodson would get a warning when Mr. Alameen was, I believe he was saying, the truth hurts past his time. So that's, I think that it's probably, you know, let cooler heads prevail, but to give a warning when there was clearly a back and forth after the time expired is uh, probably unjust at this moment. This is the vote to um, appealing the ruling that I gave Mr. Mr. Woodson his first warning. A yes vote overturns the, the chair's ruling. A no vote sustains it. Ms. Madam Clerk. Mr. Alamein? No. Ms. Lewis? No. Mr. Murphy? No. <laughs> Ms. Priestley? No. Ms. Winfrey Carter? Yes. Ms. Burns? Yes. Ms. Michelle? No. Mr. Pfeiffer? Yes. <laughs> Mr. Jarrett. Yes. The vote is four yes, five no. The vote is four yes, five no. My ruling stands. Go ahead, Ms. Burns. Thank you. So disappointed in my colleagues because we need to start having fairness. Clearly rule 27.3, which states council members may not engage in any type of argumentative discourse with members of the audience at any time for mean? any reason. That was that are our, that's our council rules. And so when we get these five votes which stay 
the same. That's it's not fair. It's not fair.